Hey folks, my name is Provis, and welcome to more They Are Billions! So I feel like I need to find a new intro for this every time, you know? They are billions, or something like that, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Anyway, we are playing in the Dark Moorland at maximum difficulty, it is now day 45, we've cleared out a couple of mutants plus a giant, and I'm expecting another wave to be hitting us pretty soon. A lot of units are currently wandering around the map, we are trying to clear as many of these areas out as we can and get ourselves ready for the impending doom. Over at the foundry, wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and research the engineering center, so I will be able to start producing the ever so coveted Thanatos. Those guys are very, very good at clearing out massive mobs, especially if they are the weaker variety. You guys go ahead and keep moving forward. I just need to be careful not to accidentally draw the last mutant. As long as I can do that, I think we're going to be fine. But with three separate kill squads wandering around right now, like, I, I don't know. I feel like we're in a really good spot. We're clearing out the map at a pretty decent rate. And my economy is looking very, very exceptional right about now. What else can I research that would make some sense? I do want to get the wonders, but for that we're going to need a lot more income than I currently have. Nothing else I care about here. Alright, so if there's nothing I need to get at the stone or wooden workshop and I've already worked in the foundry, only thing that makes sense then, keep training up some additional snipers. As I've said before, you can literally never ever have enough. And while we're at it, let's make sure that we keep building out the stone walls. And we will try to wall this entire section off and protect it with some turrets. Okay, they are approaching from the west. That means they're gonna hit me here. Maybe here, or down here, probably not here. I'm betting this location, but it really depends on where they spawn. They might spawn a little bit to the northwest or the southwest, and I think that determines what's gonna happen. Well, regardless, we need to clear this area out pretty quick so I can return some of my troops. I want to finish up this wall so they don't get in here and start killing my stuff. So we're gonna have to pull back. What happened up here that I missed? I don't know, something happened over here and I totally missed that. That's a problem. Alright, let's go ahead and start pulling back a little bit. Um, oh boy, this is actually going to get kind of tricky to pull back from in time, I think. We may have a little bit of a problem. Okay, so they're spawning directly in the west. So they're going to hit me right here. Alright, that's probably the best I could have hoped for. So now is the time to go ahead and start walling up pretty heavily. Um, I don't know that we're going to need much more than this, to be honest. And then, if I can get myself even a few more towers... Sure, how about one of these shock towers? That'll do fine, and can I fit any others in here? Not easily. But if we get rid of the wooden walls in the way, this becomes a bit more feasible. Okay, so I think they're gonna hit me right here, and I think we got some time to get this all built up. But I still don't have my reinforcements, so we really need to get these guys going. All reinforcements get trained up over this direction, please and thank you. We've also got access to the engineering center now. Which won't do me a lot of good right now, so that's just gonna have to be okay. I think we can probably handle this as long as these towers get built in time, and I'm pretty confident they will. And as long as all of these snipers arrive, we'll deal with the big guys with the snipers, and the small ones will get easily killed by a lot of the towers. Okay, all these snipers are in position about as far forward as I think that I can make them. So we'll tell these guys to simply hold position. Towers are good. And they're gonna hit me hardest right here. We could try placing like a little bit more spike traps, but I'll be honest, I don't think it matters too much. And this is actually about perfect for the shocking tower. So little guys are gonna get absolutely shredded in a moment. Yeah, okay, and now they're starting to come down over here as well. Actually, this weird little concrete rebar wall is kind of perfect. It's literally indestructible. Why do we never rediscover this stuff, right? We build all these, like, stone walls, but we never figured out how to do rebar? Look, it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't matter. We're completely fine. Yeah, I'm not even worried about this wave. The chubby's the only thing that's actually a threat, technically speaking. And we have enough snipers that they're doomed. There's no stopping me here. We're good. Okay, so with that all done, we've clearly got a bit of cleanup to do, but I'm not worried about that right now. Let's go ahead and send snipers back down this direction. We're going to systematically continue cleaning out big chunks of the map. There's a giant not too far away. We are going to need to deal with that in the near future. Uh, Executor Towers is tempting. I can't research the Thanatos yet. I'm going to research a radar tower. I know, I know. They're stupid. You should never get them. I like them, okay? Sue me. Get myself one of these engineering centers. We are also completely out of manpower, which means I need to get more housing. Definitely drawing a lot of attention down in these areas. 
Mostly just worried the closer we get to the mutants, the more I need to be cautious. A mutant could absolutely still ruin my game. They may not have seemed that bad so far, in part because of the way that I have been dealing with them, which is very slow and methodical and so on, and, you know, using walls to distract and blah blah blah, right? It makes a lot of sense. Um, however, if they were to run in here and attack, let's say, my snipers without any proper defenses, uh, they'd all be dead. Very dead. The giant technically can still do the same thing, but I feel like the giant is a little less likely to come charging at me. Might be wrong on that point. Oh look, a radar tower is over here as well. You don't even have to research radar towers in order to learn about this area and find out what the heck's going on with this uh, giant. Interesting. I want this quarry, by the way. 120 gold, some stone, uh, iron. Ooh, what's better? Uh, 120 and then do this as well. Yes, why not? Both. Ah, uh, crap. And then of course some zombies decide to run in. These guys are running, which means these were spawned by the game. It's not technically my fault, they just kind of appeared. Great, thanks. And there's the radar tower, which we should be able to then repair. No big deal. And let's keep extending the Tesla tower network down this way. Because uh, with the mutants probably being right here, we need to make sure that we can set up some walls. My snipers would be able to deal with him. I'm not worried about that as long as we have a very basic defensive layer. And for that, that just means we need to move the power forward. So we gotta keep being aggressive about this. I'm also getting a little capped out on some resources. Let's research the Thanatos now. Lucifers, you know, I honestly don't think they're necessarily bad. But being the only unit that can fire over a wall, or sorry, that cannot fire over a wall, it's a really big issue, honestly. It only works if you're gonna have a very narrow choke point and like a bunch of them stacked up with sniper support from towers. If you can do that, it still works, but it doesn't cover a very large area, not as effectively as you'd like. Okay, so there's the giants. Oh good, okay, we're actually fairly well separated by him, but it would not take very much to draw him to us. Okay, this is good to know. We're also getting closer to more stone and gold piles. So my income's gonna jump up a bit more. Tell you what, we need to keep getting more housing. That's what we need. How long until our next wave, by the way? We got about two days. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to draw the um, mutant as quickly as I would like, but I do think we could probably draw over and deal with the giant. Especially now that we know this entire area has been cleared. So let's leave behind, oh, hang on, some guys are sneaking by. Let's go ahead and get ready to move a bunch of snipers over this way and draw his attention. I'd also love to get some additional warehousing units if possible. Uh, um, where to place them to get a lot of value though? I guess up over here could make some sense, sure. The point of the warehouses is still to keep increasing my maximum uh, stockpile capacity. There will be occasions as we get close to the very finale uh, of the game, the very, the very finale, the very final wave of the game, where I'm going to wish that I had huge stockpiles of materials so I could just build to my heart's content. Notice how just lax this giant is, by the way. He should be hearing a lot of noise, and he's still not coming charging after us right now. He's thinking about it, but he's not doing it. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is why I'm not as afraid of giants. They're technically scarier. I get it. And yet, at the same time, by their actions, I just have to assume they're not as scary. Oh, wait, I think he might be coming after me now, actually. Oh, crap. Um, alright. Hang on. We didn't quite manage to set up the tower that I wanted. But, okay. Let's go ahead and start putting up some stone towers. It may or may not be enough. But let's just go ahead and pull the frick back. Uh, we need to deal with this harpy still, unfortunately. He's thinking about it, he's just getting stuck on his pathing. Which I actually think is hilarious. Okay, he actually gave up because he couldn't reach us. Perfect. Alright, for real, I can't afford to waste a lot more time here. Can you guys draw this freaking giant or not? I got hours, hours to figure this out. There we go, that draws his attention. Okay, whoop, 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 whoop. pull back, pull back. He's gonna get stuck on this for a second. He's gonna destroy them pretty quickly. Let's see how quickly we can deal with it. Answers pretty darn quickly. Um, pull back a little bit more because he's about to break through this way. Look at him get stuck. Look at that big fatty. Oh, you idiot. You're so... D hey, look, they're coming from the west again. That was as convenient as it gets. Nice. Okay, they're coming from basically the same spot, so this should be more or less a repeat of last time, but harder. Uh, let's go ahead and delete a couple of walls just so I can move all these snipers into position. Okay, they're kind of coming in fast, and these snipers are really struggling to file in uh, one by one. Guys, 
Guys, can you go a little bit better than this? Quick and orderly, single file line. Come on, remember your fire drills. We are gonna have to delete a couple of these outside buildings over here too, by the way. Just, you know, FYI, like that's gonna be a thing for sure. Okay, so can we deal with this or what? Is this gonna be a thing? I think we're still okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like we're all right. If I had one Thanatos over here, I'd feel a little bit better to be honest. Yeah, they're going down pretty quick. They're making some serious hit on these uh, walls for sure. Like The walls, I'll probably lose like one layer, maybe one, but I don't think much more than that if I'm honest. Again, the chubbies are the only thing that's scary. No harpies with this group, so like it's not that bad, not really. We can afford to start clearing some more areas out, I think. And let's never forget that we want to keep getting more oil and stuff. Oil production is always going to be valuable to me. We're going to need a ton of it, especially now that we have the engineering center. And by the way, researching the Titan would be nice. I need a few thousand more gold for that to work, though. Ugh. I think this actually also goes to show the power of just having this one shocking tower dealing with all these little guys. Like, seriously, one of these well-placed deals with so many trash mobs, it gives you so much more longevity. So, very much. Okay, so with that dealt with, the next thing to do is definitely go clear out the mutant. Gotta go do that. I need to go start making a very aggressive push in that direction. For that, I need a lot more snipers, and we need to very cautiously move forward with walls. Alright, so this is a very substantial number of snipers. Like, a ridiculous number of snipers, even if I think the mutant did come after me. Like, he'd kill a few, but he hopefully wouldn't live long enough to tell the tale. Let's go ahead and research that Titan, just so I have the option to start producing them. They're fast, they do splash damage, they have a lot of hit points, they can take a mutant one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I mean, they may not win the fight one-on-one, -on -one, but they can tank the hits for a while. Yeah, Titans are great to have, and if we're still in the clearing phase of the game, which we are going to be until about, what is it, day 73 or something like that, we should be okay. By the way, don't forget, in this game, it says you have 80 days to survive. That does not mean you have 80 days until the next, uh, the last wave hits. That hits around, like, day 73. So you've actually got a little bit less time than you think you do. Sorry to burst your bubble. I am a little nervous that we're probably getting kind of close to the mutant. Hmm, okay. I think maybe this actually is going to be about where... Yep, he's coming right now. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to start setting up some walls. Set them apart so that his... I don't even remember if he actually does splash damage. I'm just assuming he does. But this will make it easier to navigate. Get the heck out of here. Some harpies are coming in. We got to deal with them real quick. Deal with them, deal with them, deal with them, deal with them. He gave up running. Nope, now he's coming back. Hang on, I saw him. Hang on, get me in the walls, please. Oh, God. All right, all of you guys... Go ahead and start shooting. I need these guys to keep moving. Keep moving. You're okay. There we go. Mutant down. See? Look how easy that was. Who's even worried? Couldn't be me, man. Could not be me. And that means we now have free reign to just go ahead and start exploring as much as we want in this corner of the map. And over here, we can see some runners are going through, but I've already walled off this entire area, so I'm not worried. I'm a little bit more worried over here, and honestly, this... I uh, can't even delete it at this point. This Tesla Towers just keeps dying. It's costing me score. I'm gaining absolutely nothing out of the arrangement. Okay, we may want to consider retreating over here. There's kind of a few too many guys coming after me. Um, can we get to tower range real quick? Because I lost a soldier, and that makes me feel bad. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. And there we go. All right, try to turn around, kill the harpies if you can. Little guys are starting to come through, and alrighty, I think we're going to be fine now. Okay, we're starting to get hit pretty hard in a lot of directions over here. Got some sniper teams nearby, which should be able to clear this back up, but the problem is they're moving pretty fast now. And up over here, I keep forgetting this area exists. I need to keep repairing this wall and keep this all controlled. Let's make sure we go around and upgrade other resources. I'm still running low on things like power because I'm always going to be running out of things like power. And food. I'm going to train up whole new squads of snipers plus some more Thanatos so I can start spreading those around the most common entry points. Um, if they hit me from the east or the south, I think we're fine. If they hit me from the west again, that would be convenient. They haven't hit me from the north in a while. I'm a little bit nervous about that. I've also been doing nothing to take advantage of this area up over here. It's going to take a long time to push through all this, even with this many snipers. So slow. Most of the time I'm still waiting for the zombies to come to me instead of actually clearing this out. But it is slow and methodical and it will work. 
Anything else I should research? The Executor Tower would make a lot of sense. We're gonna need these at some point regardless. The 3,000 gold is expensive, and then each one of these towers being upgraded is expensive, but... They do so much damage that just a handful of Executor Towers can deal with most of the regular waves we're gonna get when we hit Day 73. And by regular waves, I mean, in this game, it does seem like in the final wave, some areas are gonna get hit harder than others. They're not all created equally. Some are full of chubbies and harpies, and others are mostly full of little guys, even if there's a lot of them. So, um, yeah, those are the ones that Executor Towers can handle. And then all you have to do is just have at least a handful of uh, Sniper Nest Towers, and boom, that problem is solved too. You can deal with all the big strong guys. Okay, they're coming from the west again. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, um, do we really feel like we need to change up the strategy much here? To be honest, n no, this is still a fine spot for us to deal with them. Go ahead and open up a slightly wider hole this time, and let's just go ahead and pull a bunch of these guys back. Not to mention, we have Thanatos and other snipers already here, so like, we're better able to handle this than before. Okay, they're actually gonna come in and hit me a bit higher up this time. Uh-oh. Alright, hang on. That might change the situation a bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and st oh boy, these mineral outposts, our, our little outcroppings here are very unfortunately placed. Let's go ahead and start preparing this spot, and be ready, because I think there's actually a good chance this place gets hit this time, and that is a very different story to me. We're gonna keep pushing with this group of snipers, there's no time to bring them back at this point, it is what it is. Some of these guys get really stuck in their pathing a lot. So over here, let's get an Executor Tower. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some Shock Towers, plus all these guys with a Thanatos and so on. I think... I mean, I, there's no... They're not going to hit up over here, are they? Ooh. They could. If they do, that's a problemo. Very big problem. I don't really want to invest too many extra resources here for no reason, just because, like, my expectation is I'm not going to keep this area long term. Hold on. They are coming down here. Crap. All right, they done a heckin' bamboozle. Um, they are coming right here. Shoot. All righty. Well, the good news is I have a bunch of snipers still over here. And I can get reinforcements down here. This was a complete and the unnecessary investment, it turns out. But, I would rather find out that I was wrong than to die. So, it's okay. Hey, we can work on a wonder, by the way. What's a wonder that would make a lot of sense? The Atlas Transmutator if we want oil. Um, the Silent Beholder to learn about the entirety of the map. The Crystal Palace for a lot of food. We aren't really worried about food. The Victorious, so we can get all veterans, I think. Makes sense. Or the Alchemy of Immortals. Sorry, this also gets the veterans. This one gets me money. Oh. All right, that's why we want the Victorious. All right, let's go ahead and learn about the Victorious then. I think it's worth it. Get the Victorious, um, spend all my money so that I can get another way of making a freaking load of money. I think we're still okay over here, to be honest, though the placement of this wave is less fortunate than the other one because my Shocking Tower isn't really getting much in the way of value. And we really like it getting value. Also, hmm, call me crazy, but I think that some of the enemies are going to come up over here. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks to me like some might be splitting up over here. Let's get a few forces I don't need in this direction just in case. Okay, now the Shock Tower's starting to get some value here. Uh, no, they are ignoring this place entirely. All right, well. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not salty. How can I possibly complain when I'm not getting attacked, you know? So do we think we're in any actual danger? No, none of the Thanatos are here and doing some stuff. I'm not really worried about it. That splash damage will take care of it. All right, let's just go ahead and keep clearing out big chunks of the map. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is definitely a bigger, stronger wave, for sure. And they are breaking through quite a few walls, but I'm not gonna lose. So, losing a few things is not a big deal. That should be the last of them. Okay. We're not gonna keep this defense any longer. It is time for us to start pushing. Notice, by the way, we're getting attacked over here on this side. That is a clue that we're getting attacked everywhere, so I expect to find some enemies over here in a little bit, definitely some down over here, and so on. They all tend to come in these big, kind of little running waves. We should be safe over here now, though. We're okay. The Mighty Titan is here. Really? Hello? Mr. Titan, how are you? Uh, we were unable to completely deal with this. I didn't get the tower up in time, so this area has now fallen completely. 
Which is gonna get very, very, very annoying very quickly. Oh gosh, dang it. What do we need for the wonder, by the way? Another 7,000 gold. Yeah, sure, 7,000. Very casual. Rookie numbers. Who even cares? I'll just put it all on my credit card. That is a joke, by the way. I do not own any credit cards. I think that they are a terrible, terrible plan. Okay, we found a... Doom Village. You know, I was wondering if there were any on this map, actually. But, uh, sure enough, there they are. Well, with a couple of Thanatos nearby and a load of snipers, we can actually clear this out before the next wave hits. My biggest priority, though, is mostly just re-establishing all of our defenses. Push the boundary out over here, buy myself some dang space. Do we need all of this space? No, because I'm not going to be extracting a lot of these materials. A lot of this is just dead open nothing, but it doesn't matter. Out of principle, I want to control the dang map. And this Doom Village actually seems like a bunch of pushovers, to be honest. They're not even spawning very much. One of the easiest villages I've ever had to deal with in my very long and very illustrious life. Hey, we've got 7,000 gold, by the way. Can we build the wor- Ah, oh, we can't build the Victorious and need more housing! Dang it! On the plus side, there is a ton of oil in this direction. I do love me some oil! Oh, God, sorry. I don't mean to be so American. I just- I just am. I can't- I can't help it! Alright, now we can get the Victorious. Where the heck do I place this? I need a place where I can hit as many houses as possible. There we go. This spot actually hits almost all of my houses, which makes it a perfect candidate for a giant statue. Okay, so right now, economically, my biggest bottleneck is a lack of workers. Yeah... Oh gosh, I just, I just can't get enough housing, to be honest. Which is a good problem to have, right? I mean, I've got almost a population of 2,500. That is a very solid and respectable population right now. So the fact that I need more in order to keep working more buildings and stuff, that can only be a good sign. It means that my economy is chugging along. The big issue is not having more people means I can't build any other structures, farms, etc. Nor can I train more troops. And I kind of covet more troops. I also want to get some towers and stuff. Or Tesla networks. What? I don't care. Anything. I need all the things and all of them require people. We're getting dangerously close to the uh, giant, by the way. I'm a little concerned. We got enough stuff here. We might be okay. Maybe. But somebody may have to either kite or tank the giant. Which is not a job I would want, personally. Anyway, this statue is worth like an extra 600 gold per cycle, which is a very respectable amount of gold. Good statue. Very good statue. I think I want to probably deal with one more wave. And then we'll call this video here. I really want to deal with the giant, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that exactly on time. Let's just worry about sealing off these edges a bit more, and then we can deal with the last wave and see where things stand. This is a very, very good spot to be, though. I'm kind of proud with how this run has been going so far. Mostly, not entirely, but mostly without a hitch. And here they are once again coming from the west. Uh, okay, my troops are here, but we have to relocate. Where are they going to hit me? They're going to hit me here? They're going to hit me here? Or they're going to hit me here? Probably here. I don't know if I have enough time to set up defenses, but if I do a uh, tactical retreat, we can try. I mean, honestly, it's just really fortunate that I was already building some walls and stuff over here. So, um... Yeah, just shoot for something like this. A good shocking tower place might be right here. And then walls. Lots of walls. Honestly, with the, um, titans already here, though, I feel like we're actually fine. These are like mobile executor towers. So, oh, frick me, they're coming. No! All right, hang on. Worst possible spot. I did not even think of this as an option. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, um, the army's close, but probably not close enough for this. Oh, God. Do I just delete these defenses, get the resources back, and don't lose the score? It'll slow them down. That may be all I need, honestly. Hold on. 
just just freaking wall like crazy. Just wall like crazy. I know the walls won't have a chance to build in time. I know they won't. Who cares? Get as many up there as you can. Get HP, slow them down. I just need time. That's all I need. Time! Come on, guys, why do I have to have the slowest freaking military in the world? And actually, there's a few popping up over here, too. That's fine, I'll just go ahead and leave behind a small force to deal with that. Oh, God, there's a lot of them! But, but, we were able to at least get some walls in place. Hold on. To be safe, can I get some extra walls over here? Yes. If I need to pull back a little bit, I can. Okay, lots of units getting in position. They're starting to get to the towers, which is a problem. But maybe we can hold. Oh, they're starting to actually like flow over here. That could also be a big problem. Okay, we lost one tower, no biggie. I've got a bunch of units nearby. They're having to flow through very, very thin, like single file lines, which lines them up perfectly to die. I think we amazingly are gonna hold right here. Wow. Well, I take that back. They're starting to burst through right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I get anything just to slow them down again? That's all I care about. Slow them the frick down while I get these guys dealt with. Come on. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh my god. Alrighty. And the only thing that remains at this point is the final wave. Which means the next video is probably going to be a bit on the shorter side. But I think you guys will forgive me. I'm going to end this here, though, now that we know that we've cleared this out. Little spoopy. But we made it. Now, we need to expand as aggressively as we can. Ideally, get a few more wonders in there just for some score. May work out, maybe not. I wouldn't mind buying a bit of stone so I can get one more wonder. We'll get ourselves the Academy of Immortals. There we go. So any units we train from here on out will be veterans. So now it's time for mass militarization. We should be able to clear out the last giant, but only barely. I don't know if I'll get this corner of the map, but we will see. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to the next video, which will be the final wave, the finale, getting hit on every possible side. If you're looking forward to that, then I would ask you to hit that like button down below. Of course, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.